Hello folks, I'm going to explain about the revised interface for the old DOS style programs of VICA 30 for three phase motors and VICA 42 for single phase motors from AC MotorCAD. I'm going to go to the uh, place where single phase data and programs are stored <clears throat> called uh, AC MotorCAD VICA 32 like a 42 on your C drive. That's the only place you're allowed to have it uh, in order for it to work. Now, um, I'm going to click on it. That's the name of it. And you can see that we have menu choices, similar to the way that you always have, except that <coughs> I've added some. Um, I've added chain strings and save data. Now, the old program um, could use run with stored data and I think I should pick that one. We don't click it. We put in its number 2 in order to get the demo going. Now what uh, file do I want to use? Let's use CGV one XXX, which I have revised, and you'll see in a minute how. <clears throat> now, this is the data that's in the file that I just named. We have separated out, <clears throat> see, there's what I put in. And here are three, five strings, the name of the run, the date, the M values, which are program switches, the stator punching file name, and the rotor punching file name. We still are going to use punching files in this version, but the punching files, if you've already run them, their data can appear in lines 5 and 6. And it does some calculations automatically. And these numbers, if you're accustomed to CGV, I mean, uh, like a 42, look right. They look reasonable, let's say. Okay, so we can save these calculated outputs to files. Let's do that. See what that's like. The output was written. It tells you where. To fbb.out because that was the run name. Now we can do something else. So let's pick one. We can normally start a new design. It's easier to have an old design in memory because then all zeros don't pop up when you try to put in data about things. So we'll leave this design in memory and then we'll we can start a new one. Normally you want to uh, do it with uh, designing laminations doing punching calculations. Um, those aren't working at the moment. Um, let's try this one and you can see the uh, mechanism of putting data in. Let's make this a Oh, it didn't make it wider. can do this too. 
We can do this too. And we can do this too. Uh, let's try option one, new problem with new data. That one will require us to put things in. Now it's asking us for parameters. The strings you handle a different way. You handle with uh, this option number eight. But anyway, here I am. Let's say I want the same steel grade and the same type of motor. This one is a um, capacitor start motor, I think. And let's change it to, uh, well, it's horsepower. Changing the, these things don't change the values. Cap microfarads. Let's try 255. It's not standard, but let's see how this goes in. Now, for some reason, you got to hit enter again. Okay, you can see I've <clears throat> changed the data fields that I was under. Let's say we want to change something else. We take a 2. Now, you can use tabs in here. You don't have to use the space bar. Uh, let's say the temperature, we want 55. We don't have to put in a decimal point, as long as we're in the 10 characters here. Let's try that. Okay, so this is just about the same now. We'll say the data is okay. Now it wants more information and I can put in type in all new dimensions here well see I gotta be careful about some of them put in ridiculous data you'll get an error but what's going on here spacebar tab 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 Tabs only go eight spaces, so they don't go exactly where you like it. But you can backspace on here. <clears throat> Let's increase the bar area, um, which was... Let's do 0.04. Hit the Enter key twice. And there we go. Uh, 